Okay, now we're going to be riving in this rear trunnion. And you can see it has dimples in the holes on both sides. So you can actually put the rivets in from either side you want. But most people put the rivet in from the right side. They push it through the right side. And then you form the head on this left side here. And also, too, if you put an optic rail on here, um, it's going to be easier. You'll be putting the rivet through from the right side anyways and be forming on the left side. So you might as well just might as well just do it this way anyways. But if you're going to do an optic rail, you want to do this. You want to um, rivet this back end, this back hole first, and then you can put in your rail and then you rivet this one because the optic rail uses this same rivet hole right here. You'll be using a rivet through this whole area for the optic rail. One thing you want to know too is um, what size your rivets are, your, sh your rear trunnion rivets. And see here, I got the four and a half millimeter rivets. Um, and if you drilled out your receiver here if you do it out your receiver um, when I first drilled mine out it told me to use four millimeter a four millimeter drill bit but my AK builder rivets are four and a half millimeters so I had to drill these out a little more with the four and a half millimeter drill bit you can see it goes right in there And the, the AK riveting tool, you don't even need a caliper to know your rivet size. You can stick it in these two tools that come in the AK riveting tool. And it'll show you which size you have. And you see, I got the bigger size, which is four and a half, and the smaller one's four millimeters. Okay, now that we made sure the rear rivets will fit in the rear trunnion area, we can set up our alternate base here that's in the AK riveting tool jig kit. And there's basically two threaded screws down through here. We got these two supports, they're just solid cylinders basically. That keeps everything level. I got these down tight. I have this dimpling tool we're gonna use. Okay. And so now what we're gonna do is put this receiver in here pull this out we can slide this dimpling tool down through here and you gotta make sure to put in this spacer to hold everything in place good and this specific size right here is half inch for my um, for my specific build You want this pretty tight. Now let's get this lined up and centered. And we're just gonna we're just gonna press this down and we're just dimpling out this hole. And we're also gonna dimple this hole too. Because we only got two rivets on this side. Okay, now I'm gonna crank this down. And you you don't want to be putting stress on the press. And then you you're probably too far at that point. We're just dimpling the hole. It's going to stop right there. You can always put it back in. And redo it but you don't really want to go too far it didn't take me long to do that so not a big deal if you didn't go far enough now you can see I got a nice dimple in here and before you go any further you're gonna to want to make sure your rivet fits in there flush if not you either gotta Continue, you know, f do your, um, go further with your press, or you got to take a file 
to you know clean this out a little bit so because see my whole change here and the rivets not going in right now so I probably need to file a little bit of that out now you can see I got that rear rivet in there and it's nice and flush like it's supposed to be and that's how you want it you want to make sure you get that all taken care of before you move on to the next one and then before you press the rivets you don't want to press them and then realize oh no I got a gap under my rivet head you want to make sure that's all taken care of right now before you press anything okay now that we got all four holes dimpled we're gonna slide the rivets through the right side of the receiver like this okay then we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna make sure to get our little cupping thing here to hold the head of the rivet we're gonna start on the rear one and we're gonna lift this up like that and we're gonna take our rivet alignment tool that I was talking about earlier we're gonna slide this down here you obviously want the one that fits for your specific rivet that's just to hold everything in place right then I'm going to take those little rubber pads that we used before for some, for some support under the receiver. Now we're going to slide the spacer in here. I'm actually going to rotate this whole thing this way so I can see what I'm doing. You want to tighten this down nice and tight. That'll be good right there. What's nice is you can see everything you're doing, so you can have a headlamp on and see exactly what's going on. Now we're going to remove the alignment tool. It looks like I need to pull this out with some pliers or channel locks. There you go, just keep wiggling back and forth, pulling up. Now that we're going to replace that with the cup, the rivet head forming tool. Slide that down in there. And normally I'd be wearing a headlamp, but I can't wear a headlamp right now because I have this um, camera head mount on my head. So I got to improvise. What's good is you can watch exactly what you're doing. Now I'm going to pull it out and check on it. And that looks pretty good. All right, now that we got this one done, and they're pretty pretty even, we're gonna move on to this front one right here. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing. 